Hey adventurers, do you want to get better at role-playing but you don't know where to go to short of acting classes to get better? Well worry not because here at Ink and Iron we have 5 essential tips for fresh adventurers or veterans that are looking to round out their characters. Now let's get started on this RP journey. Rolling into the first tip, we have play into the dice. When you're playing, your roles set the stage for you constantly. Like when you roll a nat 1, that's not just a failure. That's a chance to fail so spectacularly that it becomes the most memorable moment of the session. Confidently swaggering your way up to a couple of guards and hit that natural 1, that's your spotlight to say something so crazy and funny it makes any guard go, yeah, go ahead and sound the alarm. Or hitting a critical failure in an athletics check is a chance for you to fail upwards with some physical comedy, as you set the stage for your DM and the rest of the players for some roleplay shenanigans. And let's not forget the glory of the natural 20. These roles are your character's chance to shine brighter than a paladin's armor at high noon. And that critical hit isn't just a devastating blow, it's an opportunity for you to describe an attack that's so epic that the target's descendants will feel it in their bloodline for years to come. Or we all know how awful it feels when you're caught red-handed by the shopkeeper, the guards are approaching, and the dice gods bless you with that sweet, sweet nat 20. Now you've swindled your way into an exchange that'll have that shopkeeper later on thinking, now this has been the worst trade deals in the history of trade deals. My second tip is find your groove and stick to it. So you've survived more than one adventure without becoming Goblin Chow. Congratulations! Now's the time to dial into who your character really is. Consistency is key. Nobody trusts a hero that's a valiant knight one day than a sneaky thief the next. Unless you're going for that split personality vibe, then by all means, carry on. It's like being in a fantasy band. You gotta know your role. Whether you're the lead singer with the angelic voice, bards, or if you're the drummer that likes to hit things really hard, looking at you barbarians. And your backstory isn't just fluff, it's the roadmap to your character's soul. Are you a paladin clinging to a vendetta against cultists? Brilliant. You've just handed your DM the keys to a City Under Siege storyline starring you. Or got a case of light fingers? Perfect, because now there's a dazzling trinket within stealing range and it's just screaming to be liberated by you. But remember, with great quirks comes great responsibility. Your actions have consequences, and straying too far from your MO can lead your party down a rabbit hole that they're not prepared for. So stick to your guns, your wands, or your swords, and let your character decisions be the driving force behind the epic story and the occasional cautionary tale. After all, it's these moments that help turn a game of just pretend into an epic saga of heroism, hilarity, and sometimes utter chaos. The third essential tip is figure out your character's why. Let's face it, adventuring is no walk in the park. It's more like a sprint through a minefield with a dragon hot in your heels. So what's got you strapping on that sword and stepping out of the comfort of Townsville? Are you in it for the gold, the glory, or did you read too many heroic tales when you were younger and you thought, pfft, I could do that? Pin down your character's drive. It's the secret sauce that's going to flavor every decision you make. Be sure to map out a family tree, even if it looks more like a family shrub. Remember, you didn't just poof into existence outside the local tavern ready for adventure. Maybe your parents come from Village McVillage face and they're as generic as they come, but they're your generic parents. Sketching out even the simplest family detail saves you from those awkward moments that go, uh, my mom? Her name is Mom. She's from that one place with the, uh, the trees. It helps ground your character in the world, making you more than just a wandering hero with amnesia. And remember, characters aren't robots. Unless you're playing Warforged, but even they have personalities. Your character has an opinion on everything, from the best method to kill a goblin to the finest ale in the land. Maybe you think capes are impractical in combat, or you can't start your day without packing a bowl. A fantasy cereal. Aww. Do not shy away from voicing these thoughts. It's the quirky opinions and habits that transform a sheet of stats into a living, breathing character in this magical world. My fourth tip is embrace the art of the comeback. The essence of roleplaying transcends mere victories. It's about how the character navigates the lows alongside the highs. View setbacks not as roadblocks, but as pivotal chapters for your character's evolving narrative. These moments of adversity are the forge where your character's resilience and depth are tested and shaped. Remember, the most memorable tales aren't always slaying dragons and uncovering treasure. They're about rising after a fall, the journey from the ashes of defeat to the glory of redemption. A failed quest or a lost duel is not the end of your character's story, it's perhaps just the beginning to an even more legendary saga. In the world of D&D, every knockdown is a setup for a comeback that'll echo through your gaming achievements for years to come. My final tip is immerse yourself and connect. Diving into the heart of D&D isn't just about battling monsters, it's about truly getting to experience that magical world. Let the environment become the canvas for your character's journey. Each element from the bustling city streets to the eerie quiet forest at night, all of these are opportunities for you to deepen your roleplay. Imagine the secrets veiled within the shadows, the whispers on the wind. A keen observation may uncover a hidden enclave filled with arcane wonders, or lead you to a royal courts where you could become an unexpected ally or adversary. Remember, the adventure becomes richer when it's shared. Your character shouldn't be isolated, they're a part of an evolving story alongside fellow travelers. Forge bonds, craft rivals, or find friends in the most unexpected moments. Okay.
Perhaps a simple invitation to a meal, or just a couple of drinks at the tavern, is the spark that your group needs to go from strangers to a band of heroes. So raise a glass, share a laugh, and let the world of D&D come alive with the connections that you make. This is where the magic happens, the moments in between battles, where characters become legends. And just like that, we've reached the end of our quest today, fellow adventurers. I hope these tips help unlock your inner hero and elevate your role-playing to epic proportions. Thank you for joining me, your lore master Noah, on this epic adventure through your imagination on Ink and Iron. If you enjoyed our quest today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Tales from the Table. Until next time, keep your stories vibrant, your characters dynamic, and your adventures nothing short of legendary. And remember, here at Ink and Iron, the adventure never ends.